What's up, YouTube? Have it coming to you, Captain Awesome's Fish Room, Jeff Acromus Pro Vibe, bringing y'all an especially special video today. Now, this is for all my freshwater fans. Uh, I didn't want y'all to think that I was leaving y'all out because, you know, I've been doing a lot on the reef lately, and, you know, I didn't want y'all to think that I was leaving you out. So, what we're doing is going to pick up some fish that I got from my buddy, Brian. Uh, a lot of y'all know him as Dolly VH. Uh, sorry about the shakiness of the camera there. I have it up on this little mount thing, but I don't know. Must not be holding it tight enough. Um, so we're going to pick up some fish, some really special fish. Uh, if y'all saw Brian's, uh, one of Brian's recent videos, you uh, saw that he was uh, selling his fest day or some of his fest day rather um, am I lost? I might be I might be lost I might be even though I come out here a lot I might be lost I don't know why anyways uh, we're picking up some fest day he was selling his fest day uh, so I hit him up I said hey Brian you know I'm interested in those fest day what can you do for me? he said Hey man, you know, just because you're Captain Awesome, you can have him for free. I'm just kidding. I had to pay for him. I promise I had to pay for him. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, he gave me a good deal on him. Uh, so I went ahead and scooped him up. And uh, I wanted to make a video for all my freshwater fans out there. Um, you know, all my cichlid lovers. Uh, so I can have a variety on my channel and uh, it won't be just reef stuff because I know I don't have that many freshwater fish right now. And I do apologize about that. And uh, to all you guys that, you know, love my channel because of the freshwater species and stuff like that, um, you know, I really, I'm really sorry. I hope y'all still enjoy the channel. Uh, it's still your boy. It's still your boy. It's still Hefe. It's still Hefe. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to make this video. I'm going to the airport right now to pick them up. We did uh, air cargo, uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, that means the fish get to you the same day. He literally sent them to me uh, this morning, uh, and it's about, it's just about six o'clock right now. Okay, now we're on the right track. I took the wrong first exit. Yay, me! Anyways, uh, so we're going to pick them up right now. Delta air cargo, the best way to ship fish. And I'm not even nervous about it. I know my boy Brian knows how to package and ship fish, so I'm not even worried about it. Uh, we'll open the box. We'll check them out. I'll show y'all. Uh, I got six fest day from him. Um, he gave me a he gave me an awesome deal. Uh, I was surprised that he gave me that good of a deal. Um, you know, me and Brian go way back. We've been you know we've been buddies for a long time. And uh, so Brian, shout out to you, brother. I really appreciate the great deal that you made me on these best day. Can't wait to get them in my hands. Uh, we're going to actually be doing a breeding project with them. I have an unrelated female already. Uh, so that's going to be really cool. Um, you know, we'll keep you updated on the progress of that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make this video for all my freshwater fans out there. Uh, we won't be seeing anything in the fish room today. Because uh, I'm actually going back to work. Uh, we set up a breeding station up there for them, so that's going to be really cool. Uh, and it's going to have uh, immaculate water changes, as I like to call it. Um, I think I'm supposed to turn here. Every time I come down here, I get so confused. Is it here? No, it can't be here. Yeah, it's up there. Okay. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to go to the, the, you know, the pickup spot. Yeah, it's up here. I'm gonna go to the pickup spot and uh, you know I'll bring the box of the car we'll open it up we'll take a look uh, I got six in total uh, originally I thought it was gonna be five uh, it's one big male and uh, a mix of the others were undetermined sex I'm not gonna say a mix because that means an even uh, distribution of male and female so it's not mixed uh, it could be rest females it could be the rest are males it could be one female uh, four males whatever uh, I was really interested in that one male, but I knew that he wanted to get rid of all of them. So, uh, you know, we made a deal for that. Um, 
yeah, here we are. So I'm about to go back in here, or back in here. I'm about to go in here, pick up the fish. As soon as I get back to the car, I'll open up the box. Um, or, damn it. Oh, I always take the first turn too soon. Always, every time, guys. Every single time. Um, so I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna pick up the fish. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and cut the tape. So whenever I turn on the video camera, I won't have to fumble around. Uh, if that makes sense. And then we'll open the box and we'll look at them uh, for the first time all together. Uh, so shout out to Brian Dolly BH. Thank you, brother. And then shout out to all my freshwater fans and cichlid fans out there because this video is for you. Here we go. All right, guys. Well, uh, I got here, pick up the box, and, you know, it came in awesome shape. Here, let me turn the camera around. I'll show you. All right. So, my man B, Brian, did not uh, skimp at all, as usual. I mean, he never does. But uh, it's in a live tropical fish box. Got live animals. Uh, it came in awesome shape. Full styro interior box. You don't need to see my airway bill. Uh, and here they are. Uh, magnificently packaged. Uh, double bagged all the way around. Maybe even triple bagged. There's that big male I was talking about, guys. Uh, and then we have five of the smaller guys. All of them alive and well. The water is nice and cool. And guys, let me show you how hot it is today. It's not 95. It's about 102 right now. Uh, this 95, I'm in the shade. But uh, it's about 102 degrees right now, and this was sitting inside of a warehouse. So if this gives you any kind of inclination of how well Brian ships fish, if you're thinking about buying fish from uh, Brian Dolly BH, go on and do it, guys. Go on and do it. Go on and get you some healthy, beautiful, awesome fish. Got all my fest day here. Uh, like I said, um, I ordered five, uh, and when he was packing them up, he actually found another one, so threw in a freebie for me. Uh, and that's probably because we've been uh, brothers from another mother for a long time. Uh, but let me show you. Check this out. Full styro box. It's not overpacked at all. I mean, this is sitting solid. You know, a lot of times uh, with people that ship fish that haven't ever done it before, they'll pack the box so full or they'll fill up the air, the, the air inside the bag so full that this will kind of bunch up a little bit. Well, let me tell you the problem with that, guys. Whenever you're shipping fish, especially if you're doing it by uh, air cargo or if it has to go on a plane to arrive at its final destination, if the bag is full, too full of air, once it goes up, it's going to condense, right? And when it comes back down, you risk the, the possibility of the bags bursting open. And that becomes a problem because if a bag bursts open and uh, it actually goes through the second layer of bag, that's another important thing. You can see this. You can see this. Brian is no newbie to shipping fish. See how that's double bagged? I think it's actually, it may be triple bagged, uh, but double bagged at least. Um, you, you always want to double bag no matter what it is. If it's a bigger fish, you want to put as many bags as possible and you don't want it to be like jam packed full of air to where you can't squeeze it a little bit. You want a little bit of play in there. That way when it goes up and down, uh, it has, it has room to, to condense and expand. Okay. You don't, you don't want that. Okay. If it's too tight, it can pop. And if it goes through, if you like, say you sent it with one bag, it's your first time doing it, you didn't know. And it pops that bag. Well, guess what, guys? Fish cannot live outside of water. Now, it, you know, if it's a if it's catfish or something, you know, maybe you'll run the the, the chance of uh, you being able to, you know, get it alive and all that fun stuff. But, you know, guys, uh, I have to say, Brian, thank you, bro. Uh, they all look fantastic. I think you even use bag buddies in here uh, because the water's a little bit blue, so that helps out with the stress and stuff. Oh, that looks like a beautiful little female right there. Um, but yeah, I mean, all these guys look fantastic. Uh, that's a, that looks like another female right there. I can't really see the dorsal fin, but from what I'm seeing, look, oh no, maybe a male. No, yeah, it's female for sure, because I see the dark on the dorsal. But uh, yeah, Brian, thank you so much, bro. Uh, this looks, I mean, this is amazing. Uh, I got six vest day from Brian. Look forward to update videos from those guys. Uh, I may take a quick video once I get these back to the shop and get them inside their breeding setup. And uh, we'll see you in a few.
Oh, you can call. No, it, it's just it's just to show them where they went and stuff. guys so that was it i hope y'all enjoyed today's video i hope y'all enjoyed seeing them swim around inside their uh you know big habitat there i believe that is a i think it's a 240 if i'm not mistaken maybe a 140 no 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 it's it's definitely 200 gallons uh it's two something 200 something uh that's the little that's the tank that we're going to be using to actually match them up in um and that tank is actually plumbed to almost 900 gallons of water guys so uh, it's a huge system that tank runs down uh, goes inside of a 250 gallon trough then flows over inside of a, a 400 gallon tub and oh i'm sorry it's two uh it's a 150 gallon trough a 250 gallon trough and then that 400 gallon tub uh and it's that 200 gallon tank there uh so that's four five six seven eight nine yeah almost a thousand almost a thousand gallons of uh water there uh so that's really cool that's going to be their breeding setup um we're going to put some rocks and some pots in there and stuff but um yeah like i said guys i hope you all enjoyed today's video again brian shout out to you brother uh thank you for the awesome deal you got me thank you for the for the awesome fish um and shout out to all my freshwater peeps out there uh you'll be seeing more freshwater videos i also have some new fish inside my fish room as well so i'll be showing you those uh it's a fish that i kept and bred a long long time ago um and i'm really happy to have these fish again uh you know nothing special nothing extravagant or anything like that but y'all can appreciate it once once you see them so with that said guys make sure y'all go and check out aquatic support systems on facebook like that page lots of great things going on over there lots of great people uh really helpful uh lots of advice and stuff if you have questions just ask guys make sure you also go and check out everybody on aquatic support systems on youtube um, all those links are inside the description as well make sure you go and check out uh, fish paradise on facebook like that page especially if you're in the dfw area because we'll be posting a lot of deals and uh you know specials that only only facebook people will get uh, we're also working on dropping a newsletter, so make sure you, you hit that like button on that page if you're in the DFW area, or, um, you know, once we actually start dropping that newsletter, uh, you'll get notified through Facebook, and then you'll be able to sign up with your email and stuff like that. So if you want that kind of stuff, make sure you go and like that page as well. Uh, with that said, guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all are thinking. This is what I'm doing. This is what I've done. Happy fish keeping, and stay true to the hobby. Peace out. Thank you.